Hydroelectric power plants are one of the largest electrical power sources in the world. These make use of the kinetic or potential energy of the water, depending on the place where they are built at. In both cases, hydraulic turbines are used. These rotate when water makes contact with them and transfer the energy to an alternator, generating electrical energy. There are small gates that allow to regulate the flow through the turbine in a very precise way. With this, the amount of energy that is transformed into electricity can be controlled. Notice how the speed of the turbine changes as the gates move. This is important since the energy generated must be equal to the energy consumed. So engineers must have a good control of the turning speed. The power of this power plant depends mainly on the amount of generators, represented by N, on the power of each one, represented by P, and on the amount of flow through the turbines, represented by Q. The voltage of the generators is very low for transmitting large distances. Power transformers are used to transform the 13.8 kilovolts of the generators to around 500 kilovolts. You can see that the second winding contains more coil turns than the first one. This means the voltage is increased. Finally, the energy is transported by means of high voltage transmission lines. In some cases, the voltage can be higher than 500 kilovolts, or can even be transported in direct current to reduce losses due to reactants. The dams can deliver energy at almost any time, since they are generally charged, which means they contain energy. They use the potential energy of the water by retaining it from low flow rivers and mountains at a point one, with a large structure. By doing this, a difference of height is generated. This difference represents the energy accumulated. The larger the difference, the greater the energy, like a battery that has a difference of potential between its terminals. When electric power is required, the gates are open at point 2, and the water is allowed to flow through the turbines at point 3. Then the water continues its course, having lost energy by making the turbines turn. Once both sides reach the same height, the power plant has run out of energy, however, it's not common to reach this point. In the case of runoff river hydroelectric systems, these do not contain large reservoirs, since they make use of the kinetic energy of large rivers, in areas where there is no notable difference in height. Therefore, they don't make use of the potential energy of water. These power plants can generate huge amounts of energy when there's a high flow, but they have this advantage that if the flow is low, they might not generate energy at all, unlike the conventional dams that can store energy and use it whenever they want. You can see how the difference in height between both sides is not remarkable, however, the difference in speeds is since the turbines transform the kinetic energy of the river into electric energy. Of course, when the speed is zero, no energy is generated. This can't be controlled as it depends on the nature of the river. 